Here we're going to look at the difference between cash and an accrual accounting. And the basic difference is a timing difference here and when we recognize our revenue and expenses. For our cash basis, we recognize our revenue when the cash is actually received or physically received. And for our expenses, we recognize that when we actually pay the cash. Now for our accrual basis, we have to set up four basic types of accounts here on our balance sheet. And those using those accounts we can allocate our income and expenses to the period which they actually occur. Now with this accrual basis the actual cash may be received or paid at a different time than when we recognize our expense or our revenue. Okay to make the comparison between our cash versus accrual accounting we're going to look at our cash receipts and disbursements and then we're going to use our accrual accounts here to allocate our revenues and expenses. Now these accrual accounts the liability ones on the balance sheet are going to be our unearned revenues or our deferred revenues and our accounts payable or our accrued expenses. And then for our asset accounts here on the balance sheet we're going to look at our accounts receivable or accrued revenue and then also our inventory or prepaid expenses which are deferred expenses. Okay let's look at our revenue accounts and we'll start with our unearned revenue which is a liability on the balance sheet and this is where we receive a cash payment in advance of doing any work and let's say we've received this, a six thousand dollar cash advance here so we credit our unearned revenue for six thousand dollars and then we debit or increase our cash account here for six thousand dollars so you could see here that we earn less revenue than the cash we received matter of fact we didn't uh, earn any revenue here all we had was a cash transaction. And if we look at this on, I try to determine our accrual basis. Uh, let's say we had $100,000 cash basis here. We'd have to subtract out this $6,000 here from it because we hadn't recognized it as revenue over here. So our accrual basis for the revenue here would be $94,000. Now let's look at the case here. We actually earned $2,000 worth of this revenue here. So we debit or decrease our unearned revenue for $2,000 and then we'd recognize it here or credit our revenue uh, on the income statement for two thousand dollars. So this is where we earn more revenue than the cash we received. Matter of fact we didn't receive any cash at this point all we did is recognize the revenue. So if we're going to determine our accrual basis here for this revenue we look at our cash basis of a hundred thousand dollars for the revenue and then we'd have to add in this extra revenue that we recognized of two thousand dollars to it so our accrual basis would be a hundred and two thousand dollars. Okay, let's look at our accounts receivable, which is an asset on the balance sheet. And this is where we earn some revenue in advance of receiving any payment for this revenue. So let's look at the case here where we, uh, we earn $50,000 in our accounts receivable. So we debit our accounts receivable for $50,000, and then we'd go and we'd credit or increase our revenue here on our income statement, or to recognize $50,000 worth of that revenue. And this is the case here where we accrued more revenue than the cash we received. Matter of fact, we didn't receive any cash, but we did accrue $50,000 worth of the revenue. So if we're going to determine our accrual basis for this revenue, we'd have to take the $100,000 cash basis, and then we'd have to add this extra $50,000 worth of revenue to it, and then our accrual basis would be $150,000. Now let's look at where we actually received the $10,000 cash payment against this accounts receivable. So we'd credit our accounts receivable to $10,000 and then we debit or increase our cash for that payment here of $10,000. Now this is the case here where we accrued less revenue than the cash we received. Matter of fact we didn't accrue any revenue at this time. All we did is have this cash payment. So if we're going to determine our accrual basis for this revenue, let's just say we had a $100,000 cash basis, we'd have to subtract this $10,000 because we hadn't recognized it here as a revenue and so we subtract the $10,000 from our cash basis basis of $100,000 and then we'd have an accrual basis here of $90,000 for our revenue. So in both cases here for our unearned revenue and our accounts receivable we have a timing difference here between our cash receipts and what we recognize here as revenues on our income statement. Okay let's look at our expenses. Now we'll start with our accounts payable which is a liability on the balance sheet. Now this is where we incur an expense in advance of making any payments. So let's say we incurred expense here of $15,000. So we credit 
our, our accounts payable for $15,000 and then we go and we debit or increase our expenses here on the income statement for $15,000. So we recognize $15,000 worth of expense here. Now this is the case where we accrued more expense than the cash that was paid. So actually we didn't pay any cash but we accrued the expense here of $15,000. So if we were going to uh, calculate our accrual basis we'd take our cash basis say it was $100,000 here and then we'd have to add to it this extra $15,000 of expense. So our accrual basis would be $115,000 for our expense. Now looking at the case here where we had a made a cash payment of $5,000 against this accounts payable. So we debit our accounts payable for $5,000 and then we'd credit or reduce our cash here for $5,000. Now this is the case here where we accrued less expense than the cash paid. Matter of fact we didn't we didn't accrue any expense but we had a cash payment here. So if we're calculating our accrual basis here for an expense let's say our cash basis was a hundred thousand dollars then we'd have to subtract this five thousand dollar payment here since it wasn't recognized as an expense so our accrual basis would be uh, the hundred thousand dollars less this five thousand dollar payment or it would be ninety five thousand dollars Okay, let's look at our inventory or prepaid expenses, which are assets on the balance sheet. And this is where we pay for something in advance of using it. So let's look, for example, here where we uh, purchase $20,000 worth of inventory. So we debit or increase our inventory for that $20,000, and then we credit or reduce our cash for that $20,000 worth of inventory we purchased. So this is the case here where we, where we use less inventory than the cash that was paid. Matter of fact, we didn't recognize any inventory as an expense here, but we did recognize a cash payment. So if we're going to determine our cash or our accrual basis for this inventory or this expense of this inventory, we take, say, a $100,000 cash basis, and then we'd have to subtract this $20,000 payment here for the inventory since it wasn't recognized as an expense over here on our income statement, and then our, our accrual basis would be $80,000. Now, let's look at where we actually used $12,000 worth of this inventory. So we credit or reduce our inventory for $12,000 and we debit or increase our expenses here in the income statement for $12,000. Now this is the case here where we used more inventory than the cash that was paid. Matter of fact, we didn't pay any cash, but we did uh, recognize this inventory as an expense. So if we're going to determine our accrual basis for this inventory expense, we'd say our cash basis was $100,000. Then we'd have to add this extra $12,000 worth of expense to it. So our accrual basis would be $112,000. So in either case here for inventory as prepaid expenses or our accounts payable, we had a timing difference here between our cash payments that we made and our expenses that we recognized here on our income statement. Okay, to summarize, using a cash basis of accounting, we recognize revenue and expenses only when we actually receive cash and we actually pay cash. Now, when we're using the accrual basis accounting, we use these asset and liability accounts here on the balance sheet so that we can allocate our revenue and expenses to the period in which they actually occur. Now, with the accrual basis accounting, we have a timing difference here between our cash receipts and our cash payments with what we recognize here as revenue and expenses here on our income statement.